she is calm and sleepy and you know your typical old dog but then there are just so many moments where like you can genuinely see the joy that she has for life actually in Anchorage, Alaska, getting ready to board a flight back to DFW. I saw her picture posted that she was at the shelter and they were asking for rescue support. So I, the powerful rescue tagged Annie from the shelter. And when I landed back in Dallas, I showed Lisa Annie's picture. I obviously fell in love with Annie's face and just was also saddened by the thought of her being in the shelter at that age and so I said that we had to get her. We were told that we were probably looking at a month you know when we when we got her we just kind of thought to ourselves like how can we maximize this month for her. It was challenging because we didn't know her and so we don't know what some of her favorite things are but we kind of went on a hunt to figure out what are the things that she loves and we kind of brainstormed this bucket list of just like fun things that she could do. And we kept getting ideas from some of, um, we call them the Annie fans. And we just kind of keep going because she's enjoying it. And it is, it's fun for us to get to see her light up. Just knowing that the time you do have with that rescue or with that foster animal, it really brings a lot of joy to you as well, just to watch them live out, you know, their last days happy and in a loving home. If there are not people that are willing to step up and foster um, through these rescues, like the Powerful Rescue or any local rescue that people want to get involved in, these animals like don't have a shot. And so I think that we owe it to these animals, you know, that have lived their life, like giving us joy. We owe it to them to like finish it out strong.